What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 73 and 74. Very excited, hoping to see a couple things. Hoping to see, even though I'm nervous about it, hoping to see Akashi go crazy in his zone. Hoping to see Kagami enter the double zone. <laughs> no idea what any of that means, but it's getting a little too close for comfort. It's definitely a nail biter. It's definitely a grueler to say the least. I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. If you guys have not already, please subscribe. Click that notifications bell so you guys know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the early access, the full uncut versions for this show and all the other shows I'm watching. Check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop right on into it. Kuroko no Basket, episode 73. Why don't you give up? Okay, I will demonstrate my superiority to everyone here. It's like using N from uh, Hunter Hunter. He just expands his range, gives you the... <laughs> it, literally, it literally is like N. They get the chills and the blood lust and everything from it. And just like that, he steals it right out of Ikuzi. Izuki. What can my boy do? Yeah, you can tell he's trying to lock in. He's trying to dig deep, but it's, he's also a little nervous because what do you do against this? Just like that, you're forcibly moved. The way you struggle is laughable. You gotta find that secondary inner door. And there's like a shat, like it's like that dark link, right? There's a shadow Kagami watching it. Or is that Kuroko? I won't lie, the hair kind of looks like Kuroko, but I'd assume it's like shadow Kagami. Mm. The title of this episode. Ooh. Doesn't have to be single combat between you and him. Let's split that weight amongst a couple of our shoulders, you know? Lighten the burden a little bit. I like that. A little bit of change of mindset. Playing with the hand you're dealt. All right, let's do this together. We will beat Akashi. But how is Kuroko going to do that? Interesting. He was reading his friend, who he knows a lot more of, and then he moved in the opposite. Ah, that's a pretty good play. He honed from his direction. Oh yeah, literally perfect. His observative skills mixed with his teamwork and coordination, you know. I like how we're getting a little perspective of every teammate on the situation, though. Kuroko's very own Ember I, I thought we were gonna get a <laughs> he's getting hype. Hell yeah, good steal, my boy. Oh, 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 oh. Now it's time for the counter attack. Boom, gone. You think you're stopping my boy? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gosh, you still shook. A turnover? I never lose. My Emperor Eye is invincible. He's getting... He's getting crazy. But Kagami pulled it off again while reading Kagami. He knew that Akashi was going to go into that. So he like stole it from Kagami. And then with the LEO back to Kagami. I like the way they're shooting this, how it's super slow motion. You can tell all this is happening in a fraction of a second. I saw a flash of the go of the orangey gold lightning. Oh, okay, and we just straight up dunked on Akashi. That's why everyone's making that face, you know. Don't get me wrong, I'm souped. I'm souped to the T, but we're still down. What, 10 points right here? 12 points? 
12, yup. Isudo. Hell yeah. Our knockoff emperor. What is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Because we still got like three and a half episodes to go. So this is the first time he's ever lost. Ever. No one has. Literally not a soul. Now we're down 10. Eight minutes to go. This is definitely doable. This is quite the turnaround. Great steal from Akashi's pass too. having like a battle with his inner inner conscious battling himself fragile is an interesting way to put it takeo especially because it's it's a it's an and i was gonna relate him to frieza and i can talk about that in a second but i love the way takeo just said that he's so fragile which is he because is something fragile when it's something is so hard to break insanely hard like it, it takes all of your power to be able to break it but once you finally do give it that first snap that first cut then the entire thing just shatters there's a piece of glass that i saw in like a science video where it's like that it's like almost indestructible but if you hit it a certain way it shatters like like nothing like it's like the weakest substance in the world so it's like that's that's interesting is he fragile that's a that's a great topic discussion that we could have but i was gonna say Somebody like Akashi, even though he feels like losing ruins his person and his image and who he is and what he's built up and this, that, and the third. I, what I was saying earlier, compare him to someone like Frieza, where I don't know everything from Frieza to Dragon Ball Super, but I do know that people like Frieza, like Akashi, who have never experienced a defeat or an L like this in their life, they take it different than other people who are constantly taking Ls. It hits them so much harder and it hurts. It, like to them, it hurts, you know, and it like it literally breaks them down as a person. Like how Takeo was saying, he's fragile, but like we saw what Frieza was able to take from that one L. Like an L of this caliber to Akashi that makes him feel a certain type of way to never want to feel that L again could theoretically elevate him to levels that we've never seen before. So I don't know why I just went on a three, four minute rant on you guys, but my. TLDR is L's losses are needed in life. We need this to get better as people. So don't have the mentality that Akashi has. The defeat of his emperor must have been a shock. But for him to break down so hard after one mess, you know, misstep is, is crazy. It's like Akashi's been this unshakable beast since the beginning. And now that, you know, everything's like, this is so crazy. I was not expecting him to break down like this. Oh, I love the way they're animating that. That was so crisp. With Ku That was crispy. Time out. Let's uh, get a little conversation happening between Rakuzan. Is, his trump card is so hard to beat but once you even beat it a little bit he just completely falls apart and gives up i guess fragile is a great word to use you know and that is creating discord yeah at this rate you guys are throwing for skins is maya zumi pulling the akashi on akashi My or Akashi was using Maizumi as a tool, and so this is very comeuppance, I would say. This man, this guy question got him thinking about his entire life decisions and his entire come up. I'm curious about his mother, though. 
she introduced him to basketball, it looks like. This man is getting existential. Did we know his mom or his mother passed? I didn't think so. Makes sense why his father was so strict and rigid and why he just only would do what his father asked, you know? Look at all those awards, trophies, academics, you know? Yeah, who knows what that, you know? Especially with someone who's so close to their mom, who, you know? Like, I'm a mama's boy myself, personally. The anchor, my mm. As long as I kept winning, my stern father allowed me to play. It was the anchor that was left by my mom. It's the only connection he truly has left. Fear turned to panic, which turned to anger, hatred, whatever that may be. On some Star Wars shit. There's a lot of true depth and character development to uh, Akashi. He only developed this way to continue the lifestyle that he wanted to after losing his mother, you know? It's actually pretty understandable. And he actually has a second personality. So he doesn't need to show that side. But the scent of defeat is making you crack. Yeah, I love how deep this gets. This talks about the root of competition, the root of why we do what we do, you know? It's one of my favorite songs they play. Mm. As the as he other form steps into the light. This is uh not quite over yet, to say the least. Our impulse to win can't be controlled. And now he is resettled thanks to Mayazumi. How dare you ask who I am? And now he's back. God damn it. He always had different colored eyes. Now he has the same because he's purely the other Akashi. One eye is each Akashi, right? I have to assume. All right. Episode 74. It, we are back exactly where we left off. This one was called It Was You. Just him apologizing was crazy. I like the way they're animating this. My man is coming for all the smoke, literally. Okay, what the f Been a while since he's seen this, Akashi. Ooh, great pass. Great pass and great shot, which sucks because now we're down five. That was a three, right? Yup. Because it wasn't, it's, it was normal Akashi. This is like inner deep dark Akashi that's out right now. No, 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 no. There's no shot. There's no shot. That's a finna. What? What? It's like what Naruto does with QB mode. Yep. He is giving them a temporary zone because of how much he's able to draw their potential. This is not good at all. Not good at all. He is most definitely out of the zone while the other team is completely in the zone. Great. Nebu is going to out force uh, Kiyoshi and his knee. Izuki. Ah. 
Eagle Spear? I mean, at least foul him, you know, and do what you gotta do. The pivot around. You got Kuroko too? No, oh, okay, Kuroko was reading Izuki and then went into it with the suit. Oh. Oh, he fouled him. Hmm. The entire team is dead. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Can we go back to last episode when we were just shitting on him? Can, can we go back to that, please? Is that our homeboy? Ogi Ogiwara? It is! That's what I was thinking earlier. I was like, Matt, what does Kuroko feel going against Akashi, even though Akashi's like destroyed that we're getting vengeance for our old friend, you know? Like, you know Kuroko felt the worst of his life because of this. Come on, boy, that kid. Same one. He hasn't given up yet, Kuroko. Come on. Oh, you know Kuroko is such a good guy that hurt that 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 hits him so much. You know. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We got everyone cheering him on. <laughs> Shouts out Almine. Shouts out Ogiwara. We're gonna have everyone. Come on. Come on. I mean, Arima, Kisei, Murasaki Bara, come on. Woo, shit's bringing me to tears. We got everyone we've come across this whole time cheering us on at the very end. Serene! <laughs> Even Hanamiya. <laughs> Ooh, bro, this shit hits me in my feels. Imagine how that must feel. Come on, this is a different team now. <laughs> this is how we're ending it. Woo! Oh yeah, they do. It was Kuroko in front of that second door, right? That's what I was saying. Come on. Let's get into that double zone. Let's do it. <sighs> I need a fucking breather. God damn it, Serene. Ooh. The mysterious pressure. <laughs> That was a good fake. Back in the zone. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good play. Hi, Emma. And then just like you guys were also pseudo zone, enter the... Like, what are we doing here? Beautiful block by Junpei. Aomine was able to figure it out. You know, that boy's quick. If he's laughing like that, you know they have some crazy plan they're doing. At the true zone is teamwork. Everybody's in there. Opening that second door. When you have true coordination, true masterclass teamwork, you enter that double zone. Because you're the solo guy, I mean, eh? Ah. Uh, he wasn't a gatekeeper. He was trying to invite you into the fucking doors, man. Yeah, oh, because he knows he abandoned his friend. Oh. 
Shouts out to Kuroko and the fucking impact he has, man. I love how, like... What in the galaxy's fucking edge is this? Oh, we're entering new level. I can't even speak English. We're making black holes out here. The direct drive zone. I love the way they're visualizing this right now. We're literally in a different world. Literally on a different plane. Trust your intuition. <laughs> they're all just reacting, bro. What is this? What are we playing? NBA Street? What is this? A fucking... What is this, a game breaker? What are we playing? NBA Street V2? What the fuck was that? That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in the show. <laughs> that cute. Keep... I can't even fucking... Bro, I want to see that again. I want to see that again. Finally starting to realize that. Shouts out to Aomine. You know it's good character development and a good fucking team when we're able to make Aomine reconsider his thoughts on competition. And he's not even in the game right now. Mm. I'm sure we'd love to have you, buddy. Anytime. The instant coordination, instant reaction. I love the way they're animating this with the yellow flashes. With cutting. I love that. It's like we're watching Pain from Naruto. They don't even need to talk. They're just in each other's fucking mentals. Akashi is still Akashi with that Emperor Eye. Well, those episodes I just watched were absolutely incredible. I had such a good time. Huge shout out to Seirene. Huge shout out to Ogiwara. That that was like such a different vibe. I loved a lot of this actually. When Akashi and his whole mental battle being fragile and Mayazumi, especially Mayazumi being the one to tell that to him, getting a little flashback as to why he is the way he is. It turning from wanting to hold on to the thing that his mother gave him before she passed away to fear and panic of being left behind in this blossoming team of talents to developing this personality that like it's 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 actually very deep and a lot of connotations in real life like there's a lot of people who develop certain mental aspects like that in certain fearful situations but I love the cut from that to then Ogiwara helping us out with Seirene, rebuilding us back up, how much cheers and support actually affects us. And I love how the gatekeeper to that second door isn't a gatekeeper. It's Kuroko wanting to come on, like, come on, come on in, man. I want you in here. And I love how much that hit Aomine when he was like, oh, I abandoned you. It's like, he knows it, it, it hurts because of how he abandoned his friend. He knows what could have happened. Who Like, it's so... There's so much depth to it. That's what I love. Like, shows like this are so surface level for the surface level watchers. You get the pretty awesome colors. You get the amazing basketball, the amazing moments, the cool fucking shots. But then there's great character development, great complexities, great uh, insight on competition in and of itself. Like, I love shows that have that have both sides, have deepness to them. So, loving these episodes. Cannot wait to finish this out. Hopefully, you guys are as excited as I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all that dapper Darius. Appreciate y'all. Have a great day. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Peace out, dapper squad.